For many an American, the sight of Jackie Robinson in a major league uniform was horrifying. It meant the segregated world from which they drew so much comfort had been upended, violated. For Robinson, it was both an opportunity and a burden. He came out of poverty. His, his grandmother was a slave. His mother was a sharecropper and a domestic servant. He knew the horrors of the, the enslavement of our people and, and the discrimination and oppression. David Robinson is Jackie's son. Here's the two of them at the March in Washington in 1963. Fourth inning, no score, Brooklyn up. And Jackie Robinson pokes one into the left field stand. For Jackie Robinson, baseball was much, much more than a game. Baseball was even, for my father, a social development tool. His success was as a, a social change agent. As a black man, I find it quite discouraging to look around and find how little has been done to lift minorities from the depths of poverty and despair. In our home, he had a trophy room, and one wing or one wall of the trophy room was a glass uh, encased set up with trophies and, and memorabilia from baseball all there. But the other three walls were all about uh, social involvement, plaques three deep on the walls in terms of uh, thanking him for, for service and commitment and determination. On the field, Robinson was Rookie of the Year, an All-Star, a Hall of Famer, Yet his stellar career did not exempt him from a fusillade of racial slurs, hate mail, and death threats. The St. Louis Cardinals threatened not to take the field when the Dodgers came to play. As I read his autobiography, he talks about how significant a toll it took on him psychologically. I don't think he would have done anything differently. I don't think he could walk away from, from that challenge and that opportunity. For black Americans, Robinson was a godsend, a breaker of barriers, a symbol of triumph, of hope. There were certainly those who did not want us to succeed, but for every one of them, there are hundreds who are rooting for our success. For baseball players of this era, his are the shoulders they stand on. Tell me what it was like when you were playing to put the number 42 jersey on. This felt great to be able to, you know, represent Jackie. I wouldn't be able to have a chance to chase my dreams without him. So to be able to honor him and, and go out and play the game that he loved and I love, um, it was great. CeCe Sabathia was a dominating pitcher for 19 years in the majors, a six-time All-Star. Can you put your head in the mindset of what it must have been like for him to take the field? You know what? No, I can't. And that's why, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful to him. You know, this game is hard to play. And to be able to go out and play with the whole country watching you and, and the pressure of all these African-Americans, you know, on your back. Because if, he's, if he failed, then it may be another 10 years before we get another black player in, in MLB. In Robinson's treacherous and triumphant journey, always there at his side, was wife Rachel. She turns 100 this summer. Their son says they were indeed a dynamic duo. He couldn't have done it solo, and a woman other than my mother, extremely intelligent, extremely sensitive, you know, couldn't have stood up to the pressure either. Um, they were both remarkable, remarkable people. <laughs> and who wow. will be at the Dodger game Don't tomorrow? tell me. David Robinson and Rachel. Oh, oh. That's, that's special. That's wonderful. It's so wow. interesting when you really peel apart the history, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go back, read the book, really just get involved in the whole thing. There were only four teams at the end of the 40s who had black players. Mm. The 50s is when the flood starts, right. and that's when black player after black player, Don Newcomb, Roy Campanella, Ernie Banks, really and nice. Karen, will all won MVPs, yeah. mm. right? And all this talent sat on the sideline mm. for decades wow. and decades. Playing in the Negro decades. Leagues. Mm. Correct. Yeah. Wow. Correct. I and by the way, a little NBC uh, connection, Jackie Robinson was the community activities director for WNBC in 1952 to 1954. Really? Really? Yeah. And on the 25th anniversary, Net, the uh, baseball holds this big event to honor Jackie Robinson. He gets up there in front of all the brass and says, where are the black managers? Yes. Oh, there are no black managers. Wow. He says, there has to be a day one time when I can look down to third base and see a black manager. 
first black manager and then comes about two years later. He never stopped no. fighting uh, mm-hmm. never, after and, baseball. And, That's and amazing. You highlighted his life after yeah. baseball, yeah. which mm-hmm. was so important. Yeah. so much history making yeah. there, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was interesting because I thought, I know about Jackie Robinson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah. yeah. Do we I downloaded wow. the autobiography and it was like, wow. Wow. Great. Wow. Oh, wow. That was great. Right? Harry, thank you so much. Pleasure. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.